A reversal in classroom plans ahead of what will be an unusual school year for all of our children all across Kansas City. A week ago, DeSoto announced it would start with all virtual learning. Well, today the district is moving toward in-person learning. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake explains what changed and what some students think of this decision. The group of students say that the board's decision was exactly what they wanted, and they believe they had a lot of power in the decision that came out last night. A group of students presented their argument pushing for in-person school at the hours-long DeSoto Board of Education meeting on Monday. We just wanted to make sure that student voices didn't get lost in this frenzy. And the board seemed to listen, changing the district's back-to-school plan from remote learning to a hybrid model for all students. This means students will now be in school for part of the week. I'm glad that our district decided to be different. I'm glad our district put our students first because in my opinion, I think the other districts honestly ran scared. Brent Smith is a senior at DeSoto High School and helped form the Student Coronavirus Response Coalition. You know, mental health, social emotional development, um, educational progress, you know, issues such as like domestic abuse in the home. The group argues that staying at home would be much worse on students than going in person. According to the Kansas Department of Health and Environment, no one 18 and younger has died from the virus. KDHE has recorded 3,484 cases among kids in the 0 to 17 age range. The Board of Education chose to go with the Kansas schools gating criteria, doing away with the Johnson County Health Department's gating criteria. Neither the board nor the district were available for interview. For all the people who say that young kids really can't have an impact, well, I think that our group is proof that they can. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.